G'day all, it's been a while since we've done a video. Um, welcome back to the DX bench, and today we have the, the FRG 8800. Um, I just managed to get it, bring it back to life. I was suffering a lot from um, the flashing screen of death, which is a, a common common problem which I, I stumbled across when doing some research into the repair of this receiver. Um, and in essence is the PLL not not, uh, not locking and you get it flashing and you can't control none of the buttons work or anything um, pretty pretty simple fix um, I've, I've, I realized that um, what it was was R18 in the PLL circuit of the of the receiver which is right here this is the PLL section next to Q5 that transistor there um, that was a fixed 22k resistor um, and I'm at, there here it is over here. There it is. So that's the 22k resistor that I ripped out. Replaced it with this trim pot, 25 turn precision trim pot, 50k. So mid span would be you know 25k. And then I fine tuned it using the trim pot. Um, when you go to minimum resistance value, you'll see that um, it'll go out of lock. Maximum resistance value, it'll go out of lock. But in the middle, it'll be um, in lock. So I just fine-tuned it to halfway and uh, with good results. So I've had this radio on now for four days straight and it didn't miss a beat once uh, after going mid-span on the trim pot. And uh, before that, after 20 minutes, it would just go out of lock and start flashing. So um, yeah, I, I, I take that as a win. Uh, to get to it, uh, it's pretty simple. Just have to take off this, uh, this corner connector here, which you'll see. And then underneath this top board here, there is a shield plate as well. You'll have to remove the solder, which is this puppy here, which sits there. So you have to desolder that to get to the, uh, the circuit board components and just, yeah, replace that R18 and um, replace it with that 50K trim pot. The other mod I did to it, I wouldn't call it a mod, but um, a facelift, I suppose, is I also replaced the aging... Um, lamps that were in the display they were pretty pretty old and tired lamps as you can imagine so I replaced the old where are they here they are here actually there they are these are the original uh, lamps there's four of them little green ones um, yeah very faint and weren't doing a good job at all and I replaced it with some um, LEDs uh, 6500 MCD LEDs actually green ones and um, there are there Oops, can you see that? There you go. That's the J-Cart part number, by the way, in case anyone's interested. And I had to put a um, 180 ohm resistor in series as well to keep them down to um, uh, 30 milliamps, um, and down to the uh, the voltage, which was 6.6 uh, .6 volts on full um, uh, display and 3.9 volts when you dim it. All right, I'll just pause the video here and I'll power it up and I'll show you what it looks like. BK2KCC, BK2 Yankee Echo on the group. Go ahead, Kevin. I just turned the volume down there um, on the 80 meter net. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's it. That's what it looks like now. And that's with uh, it's dim and that's bright. Sorry, the, the video probably doesn't pick it up that well, but it's uh, yeah, it's a really nice green. Um, it's probably a bit flary on the video. But um, put it back to dim. But yeah, it's uh, really, really happy with that um, LED uh, replacement or lamp replacement to LED. Give a bit of a close-up shot if I can. Here they are here. And as you can see, well, you'd probably better see one of these ones down here. These bottom two, there's four in total. And um, that's just a bit of heat shrink I've got over the resistor. And uh, quite simple. You find out which is, you know, the positive, the negative. And away you go. But um, yeah, nice, uh, nice little enhancement to the FRG 8800. Oh, well, hopefully this um, helps somebody who may be considering a, a lamp upgrade or indeed may have the flashing screen of death. All right, guys. Cheers.